testing out the MacBook Pro's capabilities as a machine that photographers could rely on, there we go, is actually pretty interesting. So what we did was we loaded a bunch of RAW files from a Nikon D850, 45 megapixel RAW files. We loaded 500 of them in an Adobe Lightroom catalog and then exported them in batches, a batch of 50, 100, 250, and 500. So that sort of covers the scenario of, let's say, if you're a fashion photographer who's pushing out, you know, just maybe a handful of edits for a client versus, let's say, if you're a wedding photographer who has to export 1,000 images, 2,000, 3,000 images, whatever, right? The number can be as high as possible. Uh, but 500, we've realized, is sort of the sweet spot but where the CPU really gets starts to get taxed. So that's where we chose to cut off. Now, for that, we realized that the MacBook Pro 16 inch, now I'm gonna to refer to my notes because these are important numbers, to export 50 RAW files from their RAW format to JPEG in 100% quality, original resolution, with color correction, and, uh, uh, color correction and lens profile applied. The MacBook Pro took only 76 seconds. Uh, for 100 files, it took 181 seconds. For 250 files, it took 314 seconds. That's about five minutes and 14 seconds. And for 500 files, it took only 768 seconds, which is about four, 13, 12 minutes. Because we observed that using Intel's power gadget, when, you, when we did the export, the clock speeds did not drop. They just sort of remained consistent. Your mileage may vary a little bit based on, uh, you know, your ambient temperatures. We've just, it's winter right now, so it's been pretty cool, 23, 24 degrees ambient temperature. And keeping that in mind, the MacBook Pro surface does not breach 45 degrees. That's only towards the top. And the CPU temps for Lightroom did not exceed 82 degrees. While exporting from Final Cut Pro X, the CPU temperatures did not exceed 88 degrees. But with Premiere, we did see the CPU hit 98 degrees at some points, which explains why it throttled so much. So that's on the performance. Overall, like there is zero reason to complain of the MacBook Pro's performance chops. Like it's got everything covered. There is no way that as a creator, you're gonna say that this particular SKU, in fact, is gonna be insufficient for you. The only people who may have a problem are VFX artists, for whom 16 GB of DDR4 memory may not be enough and they may want to go for 32, but at the same time, it's not like without with only 16 gigs of RAM you cannot work. Everything will still work just fine.